This works for me. I am never wrong. I'm there. We should move. Take care of it. Each step brings us closer to the end. You, run and get an axe. You, bring more water. You, stay here and hold our defense. Those assassins are still around here somewhere. Aha! Some of our guests survived. Good. You need to get to the banquet hall and help Lady Jamandi. Someone opened the gate. Let in a group of assassins in the middle of the night. Now they've set the mansion on fire to cut off access to the hall. They don't want Lady Jamande to get reinforcements. We cleared the passage so you can get through. Just try to avoid inhaling the smoke. We'll be right behind you. We just need to put out the fire first to save the mansion. Considering Lady Jamande's faith, I'm not surprised that a whole pack of assassins were unleashed on her, including a giant. But what's at stake? What could anyone hope to gain? No, we'll manage. I've got my best people here, those who still live. Your place is by Lady Aldori's side. It doesn't seem right. What if some of the guards are wounded? We need to help them. You'll have to run through the fire. We've almost put it out at the entrance, so your main concern should be to not inhale any smoke. Hold your breath and take the first right, then head straight down the hallway. Fire doesn't frighten me, thanks to Hell's blood running in my veins. I'll go ahead and wait for you on the other side. Catch up! May Abadar keep you safe. Good move. Good Don't hold back!
am never wrong. Thank you for your valor and bravery. The enemy was strong, but you were stronger. And that means I made the right choice. Just as I thought, there were worthy leaders among you. I'm especially grateful to them for the courage and common sense they showed while defending the mansion. But this attack means we have even less time than I thought. Someone already knows of our plans and is acting against us. You'll begin your expedition immediately. Lady Aldori, please, I know who arranged this attack. The vile king of Pitax, Iroveti. What's more, I know who among us works for him. Hey, you! Show everyone the ring you're wearing. You think I wouldn't recognize Iroveti's seal? That's why she wasn't killed. The bandits recognized her as one of their own by this signet ring. Probably, yes. But this evidence is circumstantial at best. There's definitely a spy among us. But who? All I have is one word against another. I'm afraid you're both under suspicion. They both came to your aid, Lady Jamandi. But a liar's cunning knows no bounds. I've never met these two or their companions. For all I know, they're all conspiring spies. How could you say that? We fought together. We literally went through fire together. And then you vanished into thin air, after you promised you'd wait. My words might be rash. I bet my life the spies anyone but this woman. I saw how she dealt with those creeps with my own eyes. A true warrior, I'd go with her through hell and high water. This purple crook, on the other hand. He's got the eyes of a spy. And the mug of a spy! Lady Aldori, don't listen to this thick-headed barbarian. She doesn't know what she's talking about. During the attack, our leader showed her true colors. She forced us to break into the armory and rob it! Considering the circumstances, that was more than reasonable. Is it not insane to be faced with death and stop to question whether you may be breaking some law or rule? Our leader acted wisely. There is a difference between initiative taken in battle and blatant arrogation. How can someone who disregards authorities be a leader herself? What about that trick she pulled right before we came in here? She knew very well you were fighting the enemy, but instead of rushing to help you, she dallied as long as she could, dropping everything to save people from the fire, even though the guards were handling things just fine. She was obviously hoping to show up too late and find you already dead. Cruel, but true. It was perfectly reasonable, just the way a leader should think. How could you say such a monstrous thing? Is that the way the hero of my book would talk? You sound more like a villain. Enough squabbling! I'm still not sure which of you I can trust. However, the risk of entrusting the whole affair to a spy is too great. Here's what we'll do. Two teams will head out. That way, I'll know at least one group can be counted on to serve my interests in the Stolen Lands. Lady Aldori, most of those who were to set off for the Stolen Lands have been killed. Those who yet live will require help. Please allow me to join the expedition. I'm sad to lose such a talented warrior. But you're right, Valerie. They have greater need of you right now. Go, and may Abadar keep you. Which of the two teams would you prefer to accompany? If Tartuccio allows, I would join his team. Forgive me, but I don't appreciate your willfulness. And I like our leader. What wisdom lies in minding orders, laws, and rules in the face of oblivion, knowing not whether you'll be alive tomorrow? I will go with her team. I like how our leader does things. Efficient, and without unnecessary spiritual agonizing. I'll go with her. Efficient? I'd say heartless. Would the protagonist of my book do such a thing? No. I guess I'd better go with Tartuccio. As for me, I know neither of these two. At least, not well enough. 
And I have no wish to become an unwitting pawn to an unworthy leader. If Lady Jamandi allows, I'll remain in Restov and help mend the wounds this attack has inflicted. But who knows? The road may bring me to the Stolen Lands, but not yet. I don't even need to think. I'm coming with this woman. As for you, Purple Toad, just wait until we meet along the way. I'll be sure to hang your rotten spy guts from the trees. All right, we have two teams. To avoid unnecessary conflict on the road, you'll each take a different route to the Stolen Lands. Tartuccio's team will go through Navactus Crossing. The Garrison Commandant will provide him all the help he needs. You will take your team to Oleg Leviton's trading post. He's been complaining about the Stag Lord's bandits for a while now. There, you'll be provided with all the necessary travel supplies. I'd like to believe you, but I know all too well how convincing traitors and spies can be. If you're truly innocent, I hope you can forgive me this precaution. While you're away, Keston will investigate the night's events and learn who in Restov is working for Patox. But you should know that it isn't just Patox we need to worry about. The Royal House of Sertova may also interfere in our plans. I've managed to keep this affair a secret from them so far, but that can't last long. By my estimations, you have no more than three months. After that, any feats you accomplish will be pointless. And now, farewell. This battle was but the first ordeal along your path, and you overcame it as true champions of Restov. May the obstacles that follow also fall to your feet. Fear nothing, my friends, and return victorious. Surviving a terrible night, our small team set off to brave our fate. Beware, Stolen Lands. Heroes are on the way. Their life ends here. This can't be over. This will hurt. That is possible. 